My friends, have you ever photographed the perfect Pikachu? Or witnessed a wonderful trio of Jigglypuff serenading you on stage? In this video, we will be looking at the world records of the top 10 highest scoring Pokemon in Nintendo 64 classic video game, Pokemon Snap. But first, a big shout out to a brand new sponsor for this video, the Opera GX Browser. I've been using this browser myself for about a year now, and it's chock full of features, so I'm keen to share with you all today. Opera GX is the first browser built specifically for gamers, thanks to its GX control, a feature where you can set the maximum RAM usage by the browser, so that your games and programs can run as smooth as butter. You know, there's nothing worse than your RAM going into a black hole from having too many tabs open in other browsers like Chrome. But this is no concern thanks to Opera GX Control. It also has great direct integrations into Twitch, Discord, WhatsApp, so you can check which streams are live and respond to your messages without tabbing out. Such a good feature that really helps productivity. More integrations? Indeed. You can sign to your Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, and listen directly through the browser, further optimizing your desktop experience by not needing more tabs or programs open. There are also a ton of customization options. You can change the colors of the accents of the browser, and these can even work with raised chroma options, which is pretty insane. There are very nice backgrounds to choose from. It has a built-in VPN, which is very convenient, and a new beta feature to force dark mode on websites that don't have it, like Google or Wikipedia. It's honestly just a truly lovely browser, and best of all, it's completely free. So download it using the link in my description below and check it out for yourself. There's really no good reason not to have it installed on your computer. So thanks again to Opera for sponsoring this video with the Opera GX browser. And now, onto the rest of the video. So here we go. Of Pokemon Snap's 63 snappable Pokemon, these are the 10 which have the highest scoring world records according to the rankings on cyberscore.me.uk. The 10th highest scoring Pokemon in Pokemon Snap is Bulbasaur, and serves as a great example as to how these high scoring photographs are often assembled. The Bulbasaur are hiding behind these tree stumps or in these tree stumps on the river stage, so you must knock them out from behind the perch or lure them out with pester balls or apples. Then you lure them with apples to this area. Bulbasaur's reaction to receiving an apple is a bit interesting and a little bit more delayed than most other Pokemon who just get excited right away. He kind of goes near it, sniffs it, and then does a backflip in excitement. The current world record strategy involves capturing the main subject Bulbasaur while backflipping, a very precise shot, while one of the background Bulbasaur is also backflipping, and the third one is just chilling on ground level. If done well, you can get 1000 points for the main subject, 1200 for the happy apple loving pose, and well over 1000 points for the bonus Bulbasaur, which is enough to get something in the high 5000s, and enough to be the 10th highest scoring Pokemon in the game. The current world record is 5800 points by Feketerigo, and is really an amazing shot. The ninth highest scoring Pokemon was a bit of a surprise while compiling this list. It's Ditto. Now, speaking of Bulbasaur, these lads on the cave level are indeed actually Ditto. This is one of the more technically challenging scores, since you need to pester ball all three of these fake Bulbasaur, then successfully lure them in a pile with apples, and then get a well-framed shot just moments after your main subject Ditto is reacting to receiving an apple. The ditto kind of grow and shrink in size when they see an apple, so it can be tough to snap it at just the right time to frame the three ditto on screen perfectly. Ditto's apple excitement gives a pose score of 1150, and combined with a good main subject size and great size on the other two ditto, it can add up to a remarkable tally. It's quite difficult because there's no good way to slow yourself down, it requires numerous accurate throws and some good luck in the initial positioning of the Pokemon when they come into view. The record, 5900 by Feketerigo, is untied by over 100 points, which is quite rare in Pokemon Snap. 
In fact, this seems to be the biggest discrepancy between first and second place in the entire game. You can see, here's a reasonable attempt at a good Ditto pitcher, and it's not even close in score to the record. So, Ditto, perhaps more than any other, really shows how good the game's champion, Feketerigo, is at this game. Squirtle is one of the most complex and competitive Pokémon in the game. On the Valley stage, we see five Squirtle shells swimming in the river. Taking the picture of their shells underwater doesn't score you any points, so you need to bonk the Squirtle up onto dry land with Pester Balls. Now the most Squirtle we can get onto one platform is four. No one has ever found a setup to get all five onto the same plateau. It's quite a tricky setup involving a lot of turning and dash engining and then throwing Pester Balls, but you can get four up onto this middle plateau. Now you have to lure the Squirtle with apples to roughly the same area, all while trying to manage your speed in the fast-moving river. And when Squirtle sees an apple, unlike Charmander who makes a pretty easy movement, Squirtle jumps up and down very quickly, making the shot very dynamic and tough to predict when accounting for four Squirtle doing this. The top record scores tend to bonk at least one of the Squirtle with an apple, and he appears on the side of the shot while gathering himself, since the pose of the background Squirtle do not matter. You don't need to do this to get a score for 5,000 points, and who knows if better setups will be found, but Squirtle scores towards the high 5,000 points are incredibly challenging, dynamic, and require very refined skill. The world record currently sits at 59.10 by Feketerigo, and is honestly an amazing shot. Graveler is one of the most straightforward entries that makes this list. There are three Graveler on this little plateau halfway through the valley. By playing your Pokey Flute, they wake up and dance, resulting in the Graveler's Group Dance 500 point special bonus. Now, depending on which Pokey Flute song you're playing and where Graveler is in his dance, the pose score can only max out at 1,000 points. So, the ideal Graveler score is the 500 special bonus for Graveler's Group Dance a 1,000 size score on the main Graveler, a 1,000 pose score, and then you hope to get a few hundred bonus points for the other two bonus Graveler in the background. The world record stands at 5970, good enough for 7th highest score of all world records in the game, and it really just comes down to eking out an extra 10 bonus points on the two background Graveler. Growlithe is the first entry on this list where the record stands at over 6,000 points, and one of the most technically interesting. So at the end of the volcano stage, there are these three volcano vents, which, when you throw a pester ball in them, they'll spawn either a Growlithe or an Arcanine. Growlithe comes out two-thirds of the time, while Arcanine comes out one-third of the time. Now obviously, for a world record score, you want three of the same Pokémon coming out of the vent, and for Growlithe, this has an 8 out of 27 chance, or 29.629% chance of happening per run. Growlithe's best pose is just as he comes out of the vent shaking off all these embers, scoring 1300 points. However, you can get the ember shaking pose by throwing a pester ball near Growlithe without hitting him. Ergo, the high score strategy involves getting the three lucky Growlithe spawn, luring them to the far corner of this ledge, throwing a pester ball, and snapping your main subject as he shakes off some embers. With this, you can get 1,000 size, 1,300 pose, double to 4,600 points, plus whatever your two bonus Growlithe score. And indeed, they can score each about 700 or 800 points, which can add all the way up to over 6,000 point total score, or in the case of Feketera Goes World Record, 6,120. Arcanine is worth a mention here too, he's not quite a top 10 highest scoring Pokemon, but he's pretty close. The odds of getting 3 Arcanine are 1 in 27, or 3.703% of runs, so it makes sense that this world record score is a little lower, at 5780. Arcanine is larger too, so it's hard to squeeze out as many bonus Pokemon points, despite the mechanics of the score being very similar. So yeah, going for Growlithe or Arcanine PBs requires a lot of grinding to actually pull a run with three of the same Pokémon, and then some quick and skillful Apple and Pester Ball throws to snap the perfect shot. 
So, number 5 on this list is our pal, Charmander. Now I have an entire 23 minute video going into great detail on what makes that Charmander score so epic, so check that out if you're looking for a deep dive. Charmander ranks highly because it has the distinction of having the most bonus Charmander in the pitcher, 5, which can add to a bonus score of well over 2000 points. Plus this Moltres egg blocking our path gives us nearly endless opportunity to repeatedly try our shots and snap the perfect pitcher. A couple new developments to add though since that aforementioned video, however. For one, yours truly snapped this sick pick of 6,450 points, good for third place on the leaderboards, but still a few points behind Tsukige and Feketerigo's amazing scores. And also, in that previous video, we pondered on the setup of this score, 6120 by Maximus Prime. And recently, he confirmed that this pitcher was snapped at a platform further down the course. Could this be an avenue that needs to be explored more? Possibly opening up a whole new setup that could come close, if not surpass, the current record of 6520? If there are any ambitious TISers out there, please go for it. Jigglypuff is one of the highest scoring and most grindable of all Pokemon scores in the game. Halfway through the cave stage, you'll encounter three sets of coughing, chasing Jigglypuff. If you knock away the coughing with either an apple or a pester ball, those Jigglypuff will appear later in the stage singing Jigglypuff's classic song. One Jigglypuff gives you the Jigglypuff on stage special and three Jigglypuff give you Jigglypuff Trio on stage special, which gives a bonus 1,200 points. Plus, Jigglypuff's happy singing pose score is 1,400, which is very, very high. Even though Jigglypuff has a small size score, around 300 points, this still really does all add up. And of course, the bonus two Jigglypuff in the photo give bonus points too, all adding up to well over 6,500 points. This score really comes down to just throwing attempts down until you get the perfect shot. You can see the Jigglypuff kind of bounce around randomly, so there is some element of NPC RNG. We can see Feketerigo on this attempt throw a pester ball a couple of times at this recently freed Jigglypuff, which may affect his exact position later while he's on stage. It's a very easy Pokemon to get a high score over 63 or 6400, but a very challenging and somewhat luck based one to hone in on the world record, currently standing at 6550 points. Magmar comes in at number 3 and presents us with one of the more fascinating scoring situations in all of Pokemon Snap. You see, many Pokemon in the game are maxable and hence have multi tied records. The simplest example may be Muck. You can only capture a picture of one at a time, a thousand max size, a thousand is the best pose you can get, double it all for being centered, and bingo bango it's 4,000 points. You can't do better than that. It's very difficult, however, to get a maxed score on Pokemon where there are multiple background Pokemon, like all of those featured in this video thus far since those background Pokemon max out at 1,000 size as well, and it's very difficult to get what would be two Pokemon with size 1,000 in the same picture. But that's almost the case with Magmar. You see, if you get these Magmar to fight by luring them close enough with apples, you get 800 bonus points for fighting Magmar. You'll likely catch them in the act of blasting fire at one another, which scores a 1,200 pose points, with a 1,000 size main subject Magmar and a 1,000 size second Magmar, this would score 7,000 points, which is almost the record. Feketerigo has a score of 6980, and Matador is close with 6970. Feketerigo has a 1,000 main size and 980 bonus size, whereas Matador has a 990 main size and 990 bonus size. In Matador's pick, you can see the toes of the bonus Magmar are slightly cut off from the frame, which is probably where he lost those 10 points. Is it possible to squeeze in two 1,000 size Magmars in the same picture? It's the kind of thing that is definitely examinable with modern gaming tools and emulators, but no one has gotten around to it yet. And I hope perhaps this video will inspire someone to go out there and find out. My friends, is Magmar 7,000 points possible?
Coming in at number two, we have the iconic Pikachu, whose world record is an unbelievable 8,000 points. Pikachu is, understandably, the Pokemon in the game with the most special bonuses. On a surfboard, on a tree trunk, flying with balloons, these are all high-scoring specials. However, to hit the world record score, you have to do something that sounds straight out of 90s playground urban legends. So on the cave stage, you'll see a Zubat pick up Pikachu. Hit him with a pester ball to get Zubat to drop Pikachu. Thus, Pikachu will fly softly towards the earth with the help of these balloons. This is a special unto its own right, worth 1600 points. Pretty good, pretty high scoring, but it's hard to get a great size score this way. Okay, then hatch the Articuno egg by playing music around the Jinx, and then do the C left or C right trick to slow down your vehicle. If you do all this right, Pikachu will jump on Articuno's back, a special worth 2,000 points. Now, his pose can only be worth a max of 1,000 here, so there's no special pose, so you need to find a way to score 1,000 in size as well. The way to do that is to turn around and clip into Articuno and take your Pikachu shot at just the right moment. Bingo Bango, 2,000 special, 1,000 size, 1,000 pose, all doubled. It's 8,000 points. Well done. It sounds insane. It is insane. But it's been done by dozens of players over the past 20 years. 36 players have submitted a perfect 8,000 score to CyberScore, and it's probably been done by dozens or hundreds, even thousands of others, dating back to sometime in the early 2000s. This video from Pack Attack showing this technique was uploaded in 2009, and according to CyberScore, he submitted this score in 2005, having likely achieved it even earlier than that. And at number one, indeed we have the most elusive of all first generation Pokemon, Mew. Okay, this one is kind of anticlimactic, but it is number one, so here goes. First, you need to break Mew's magical orb shell three times. Then Mew will chase it in the other direction. You need to pester ball Mew again, and then snap the shot when Mew turns and looks directly at you. Mew gives you a special bonus of 2,500 points no matter what, and the pose score in these circumstances will be 1,500. This means with a perfect 1,000 size score, that is 10,000 points. Truly remarkable. Well, it's remarkable, but honestly, despite it scoring more points than all the others in this video, it's maybe the least remarkable. 56 people have submitted the max 10,000 point score to CyberScore, and likely hundreds if not thousands of gamers have probably achieved the score, perhaps dating back to their childhood. In order to get the perfect 1,000 size, you do need to pester all Mew a few extra times at the placement just right before he turns and does the epic pose. And this isn't exactly intuitive without guides or strategies, but it's not exactly rocket science either, unlike Charmander or Squirtle. So while some of the other game's records are still highly competitive battles to this very day, the 10,000 point Mew is almost more of a rite of passage among anyone who has passionately played Pokemon Snap at any point in their life. But it is the highest scoring Pokemon Snap score, ergo it takes the number one spot on this list. So there's the top 10 Pokemon Snap high score world records for the Nintendo 64 game. Which records will we see improved this year? And which 10 Pokemon will generate the highest score in the new Pokemon Snap coming out on the Nintendo Switch very soon? Indeed, this will be a fun thing to see. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe with notifications on by dinging that bell so you're sure to never miss a new video. Good luck in your gaming adventures, my friends, whatever they may be, stay true, and I'll see you in the next stream or video.